Hi Capricorn, this is Wendy. Welcome to my channel, Wendy's Tarot. In this video, we're going to go ahead and ask the cards, what does your person not tell you? What does your person not tell you? So this is going to be in regards to how this person feels about you and how they feel about the relationship, okay? So let's just go ahead and get started. And just as a reminder, this is a general reading. It might not resonate with everyone, but if it does resonate with you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get started. Spirit, please show me here. What does this person not tell Capricorn? Whoever it is that Capricorn is dealing with in love. What does this person not tell Capricorn in regards to how they feel about Capricorn and how they feel about the relationship? Let me get these wires out. Let's get two shuffles. Two shuffles, please. Okay, that's one. And let's get one more. And two. All right, first card we have for you, Capricorn, is... Wait, hold on. Page of Pentacles upright. Might be dealing with another Capricorn or with a Virgo or a Taurus. We have here the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. <clears throat> Why are your readings always full of Pentacles? <laughs> I mean, I know you're an Earth sign, but I feel like Capricorn readings always have uh, the most Pentacle cards <laughs> come out. <laughs> Which, of course, it's appropriate. <laughs> we have here the Knight of Wands in reverse. You might be connecting also with a fire sign for some of you. Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. And we have here the Strength card upright. Might be connecting with a Leo. Alright, what does this person not tell you, Capricorn? Let's see. Wow, Capricorn, I feel like this person is, I feel like this person is really interested in you, Capricorn, and I feel like maybe they're playing it off, like they're not, they're not that interested. Yeah, it's almost like you have a secret admirer for some of you. I think this person is trying to act very, really cool and calm and collected um you know kind of like i said i feel like they're trying to play it off um and act like they don't they don't really feel anything for you but i feel like this person has a, feels a lot of passion and attraction to you with the strength card here and the knight of wands they see you as someone who they would who they would like to be in a relationship with They might be waiting for you to make um, an offer here. I get the feeling like this person is waiting to see what you do. They're waiting to see if you approach them and if you make them an offer. Yeah, because I feel like this person is very attracted to you. And they see you as, you know, um, some. they see you as someone stable and someone... Um, reliable and yeah it's like they like you like they they like everything about you hmm. all right let's go ahead and clarify let's start with the page of pentacles spirit tell me more information about the page of pentacles upright Okay, let's get one shuffle, please. Okay, 
and we have the justice card in reverse might be dealing with a libra for some of you and we also have yeah the three of wands upright this is what did i say didn't i didn't i say something like this they're waiting for you here the three of wands upright and the justice card this is a card about a relationship someone this is like an official real relationship you know it's can it can be um interpreted as marriage but it doesn't have to be it can just mean you know um a traditional almost like a traditional uh stable committed relationship this is what they want with you and they're waiting for you with the three of wands upright so for some of you you might be clueless about this others might might know who i'm talking about it's almost like they're they're desiring you from a distance here the three of wands can be a, a card of long distance maybe it's someone who you've who you're connecting to through the internet that you met on a on an internet site website mm -hmm. yeah because this this person definitely feels like there's a lot of distance between you two um but they're like they they're yearning for you you know they're 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 waiting for you with with anticipation and with um with hope justice in reverse definitely shows that there is a lack of um there's a lack of balance or there's a lack of a relationship here you know Alright, let's clarify Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Spirit, tell me more about the Nine of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, let's get one shuffle, please. And we have the King of Wands in reverse. And the Four of Swords in reverse. Yeah, I'm getting strong fire energy. So again, some of you might be connecting with a Leo, Sagittarius or Aries. Um, With the King of Wands in reverse, there's definitely an energy of, and the Four of Swords, it's, there's an, an energy of someone who lacks confidence here. Um, you know, over here they were optimistic still. They were kind of holding on to that, to that hope, but over here they're doing the opposite, okay? Over here they're kind of drowning. I always see this card as someone who's um, drowning in, in their own fears and insecurities. And someone who's um, heartbroken also. A little bit of a self-pity energy also. So yeah, I think this person wants to be in a relationship with you. And they're definitely um, suffering um, through, you know, through this uh, separation or distance. Okay, interesting energy. Yeah, they they can't they can't stop thinking about you. Okay, um, it's almost a little bit like they're desperate here. They're desperate for a reunion and for a, or a reconciliation. For some of you, this is a reconciliation. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands in Reverse Spirit. <clears throat> it, 
it does feel a little bit immature this is a page yeah yeah page so yeah it does feel like this person is either either acting a little immature or they might be just younger in age i'm getting a little bit of an immature energy coming from them Okay, Knight of Rods, clarify, and we have here, ooh, the Three of Cups, upright. Okay. Yeah, they don't want to go out with anybody else. They're not interested in dating anyone else or going out with anyone else. They're not interested in having other love options. They're very much focused on you, Capricorn, so you might be dealing with someone who's a little bit obsessed also. What else? Yeah, and we have the moon card. Again, very immature energy here. This is someone who's crying for sure. <laughs> um, yeah, I get the energy of someone who's crying here. Now, for some of you, they are... This person might be an alcoholic also. Someone who drinks too much. Um... For some of you, this person is going out too much. They're going out and drinking and hanging out with friends, trying to get their mind off of you. Mm -hmm. almost, almost like overindulging a little bit here. But they're not interested in anyone else. Oh, they're only interested in you. And they're still waiting for you. There might be a third-party situation going on here. They might feel... They might be feeling like you're you're with someone else you're involved with someone else and and with the moon card this this definitely has them feeling depressed okay all right clarify strength upright tell me more about the strength card upright thank you spirit Okay, let's get one shuffle. And we have the Eight of Swords upright. Okay. Yeah, this might be their own fault, you know. Whatever it is that's going on with them, it's possible that it's it's their own fault, you know is what I'm getting because bec because they acted immature so you know that's there's consequences to that let's clarify strength and the hierophant yeah I feel like this person you know they had the chance and almost like they let they let it go they they wasted an opportunity here and i get the energy of someone who's guilty or regretful like it's like they know they messed up here yeah it's almost like they know they should have known better or done better um I think they did something unfair here with the justice card. This represents something that's unfair. I think they themselves were the one who created unfairness. And it's like they're hoping that that they still have a second chance. Yeah, this person might be thinking about apologizing to you, okay? And with the Eight of Swords and the Hierophant, let's see. Yeah, they want to have a commitment here with you with the Hierophant. Didn't I say that previously? Yeah, they want to they want a relationship, they want a commitment. But with the Eight of Swords, they feel like, you know, maybe it's not going to happen. Maybe it's too late. Um, maybe like there's no solution 
to this, there's no fixing this, or um, they might feel like, you know, um, they're trapped and, um, yeah, it's like they're, it's too late, that type of energy, it's too late. They, they, dug, they dug themselves too deep into a hole. All right, so that's a specific message, okay? So, yeah, that's what I see. That's the story I see here, um, Capricorn. So let me know if this story resonated. If it did, please give me a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. And subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, Capricorn. Take care.